In this video, we will look at the sum to infinity of a convergent geometric progression and sigma notation. You will find this on page 67 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Now, before we start with this, in sigma notation, the sum to infinity. So we will put the infinity sign there and we will say we start at 1 and there is still the formula. Okay. So, this is the absolute value of R, it's smaller than 1, meaning that it's bigger than negative 1 and smaller than 1. Okay, so evaluate this. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. It's small numbers, it's difficult to see. Okay, so there's the infinity, it starts at 1 and there's your formula. Now, usually if it's infinity, you, you will actually know it's a GP, but you can just see. So first determine whether it's an AP or a GP. So just make sure it's a GP. So substitute, start with 1 and substitute 2, 3. Okay, these are my first three terms. And now I'm just going, it is a GP because if I say T2 divided by T1 is equal to T3 divided by T2. And I get that it's a quarter. So it is between 1 and negative, that um, negative 1 and 1. So basically, the sum I use the sum to infinity. I have the value of a. Where is my value of a? It was the first term, so it's 6. 1 minus that quarter, and the answer is 8. Okay. So I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number 1, a as well as F, and then number 2. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, I'm just going to make it a bit so that I have space to write. Okay, let's start. So number 1A, so if I'm starting here, 1A, and it's going to be this infinity, and there is the infinity, oh, this is the sigma, this is the infinity, and P starts at 1, and the formula is a half, and then a half P minus 3. Okay, so first get your first three terms. So, if I get my first three, I substitute. And then it's going to be a half. And then it's 2 minus 3. And then it's going to be a half and a half. And it's 3 minus 3. And it can go on. Okay. So in this case, I'm just simplifying further. It's a half and it's negative 2. Okay. I will now go on. And it's a half and it's negative 1. And it's a half and it's a half and it's 0. So, if it's so, this will be, this stays 1, this is 2 to the power negative 2, okay, sorry, I'm just going to show you this. So, this is 1, this is 2, negative 2, and that's why it's going up and become a 4. So, this, um, this is a half, and this is a half, uh, okay, let me roll it, just take it in, anything, 1 to the power, anything stays 1. So, this is 2, negative 1. And this is a half, and this becomes 1. Okay, now I come to the final. So, this will become 4, so it's actually a half, and I'm again long. And this is going then to be 2, and this is 1, and this is a half. Okay, and I can see it's a GP because if I divide, I get a half. If I divide, I get a half. So basically, let's just move this. I can say the value of A is 2 and the value of R is a half. Okay, okay, and now what do I want? Because it's between, the value of R is bigger than negative 1, but smaller than 1. So it's the sum to infinity. So I can use that rule. So I'm just starting, and I say, sum to infinity is A over 1 minus R. Easy formula. And that A will be 2, 1 minus a half, 
So it's two over a half, and the answer of this one, it's two multiply two over one, so it's four. So the sum to infinity is four, and that's how you do it. Okay, let's do number F. Okay, so if I number F, this is sum to infinity, the value of R is three, the value of it's negative a third, negative a half, or minus three. Okay. So if I look at this, if I start again, I start now at three. Don't forget. So it's going to be negative a half. I can just do substitution first. Just get the first three terms. So it's rewrite everything, and as soon as you come to the value of r, you just go on to consecutive numbers. So now it's 4 minus 3. And then the next one, I'm just going to move it a little bit, and it's going to be negative a third, negative a half, and 5 minus 3. So this is going to be negative a third, this is negative a half, this is negative a third, this is negative a half, and that's one, and that's negative a third, negative a half, and that's two, and it's going one, two, three. Okay, so this becomes one, so this is just negative a third. This becomes positive, and it will be um, 1 over 6. And this, and I think the best is because it's, it's actually good that we can just leave the signs, okay, because it's a series. So this is, okay, now be careful. This is going to be, and I'm just going to cheat a little bit, writing it on the side, and always do it on the side. So it's 1 over 4 and then multiply negative a third. Then I don't have, so it's negative one over 12. So I just write it on the side. Uh, and it, it was a negative, positive, negative, so it will be a positive. Okay, if I want to find the value of R, then it will just be T2 divide T1, so it will be, remember, this is term 1, term 2, term 3. So it's T2, so it's 1 over 6. And, and I'm going to, it's divided first, but multiply negative 3 over 1, just taking a short route. So this will be negative a half. Well, let's just see. Um, 1 over 6. Yes, this is negative a half. That's correct. And this is the same if you say T3 divide T2. I just to test that it's a GP. So then it will be negative 1 over 12. And I, I multiply with the reciprocal 6. And that will also give me negative a half. So therefore, it is a GP. Now let's just move up. Uh, the value of R is negative a half, and the value of A is negative a third. And because it's between negative 1 and 1, I know that it's sum to infinity. So I get sum to infinity, easy formula, A over 1 minus R, just be able to identify it on the formula sheet. So in the value of A, it's negative a third, divide 1 minus minus a half, and that's negative a third, and that's one plus a half. So oh, let's just move it up a little bit. And that's negative a third, divide, this is three over two, so it will be two over three, or oh, multiply. Okay, yes. Okay, you see where my mistake is. It was divide 3 over 2, but if it's multiply, it's 2 over 3. 
and then this will be negative 2 over 9. And that will be the sum to infinity. Not very difficult. Let's do the last one. Let's just make space. Okay. Okay, let's start. Let's start. So the number two, calculate, and I'm going to make it a bit bigger that we see better. I think there will be enough space. Uh, so it's the sum two, this is the infinity, and n is one, and then it's three, and it's two x plus one to the power of n, and I'm telling you, because there's two variables now, it's a three quarter. So you just substitute there. So start again with your first three terms. So say three, but in the place of x, put negative three quarters plus one. And now start with one and then go for your next consecutive number. So it's three, it's two, it's still negative three quarters plus one and it's two. So it's plus 3, 2, negative 3 quarters, plus 1, and the next consecutive number will be 3, and it's going on. Okay, so we simplify 3, so this, it, it's over 1, so it's 2, so it's negative 3 over 2, plus 1, plus 3, and this is exactly the same. And now, just be careful. So, it's negative 3 over 2. Plus 1, and it's squared. Plus 3. Negative 3 over 2. Plus 1, and it's 3. And it's then this one will be 3. Now, if it's plus 2 over... So, it's negative a third. Because if, if you, you make it 2 over 2, so... No, 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 not a third. Can I just show you here? So it's negative 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2. Okay. So it's going to be negative a half. Plus 3, and it's negative a half, and it's squared. Plus 3, and it's negative a half, and it's 3. So this will be negative... 3 over 2. Now, this will become positive a quarter, so it's positive 3 over 4. And this will become negative 1 over 8, so it's negative, it must be a negative, 3 over 8. Okay. Okay, I can test to see if it's a GP. Okay, say, so T, I want to take another color, T, uh, T2 divide T1, T3 divide T2. So don't forget, this is term 1, term 2, term 3. So it's this guy, it's going to be T2, so it's 3 quarters. Now I'm making it a multiply, so multiply negative 2 over 3. And that will give you, so it's to the three cancel, so it's negative a half. And let's see if it's equal. So then I go negative 3 over 8, multiply 4 over 3. Cancel, cancel, and that's negative a half. So therefore, GP... And R is equal to negative a half, and A is equal to negative 3 over 2. Okay. It's again, um, if you look at this one, so this one, because the value of R is between negative 1 and 1, I almost looked at this one, almost incorrect. Look at R, not A. So then it's definitely the sum to infinity. So 
the um, sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r and in the place of a it's negative 3 over 2 1 minus minus a half and that's negative 3 oh let's just keep this pen correct let's just rather move it up negative 3 over 2 divide and this will be one and a half so 3 over 2 so this will actually give me negative 3 over 2 multiplied 2 over 3 and this is nice what is the answer going to be this cancel 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 so the sum of infinity will be negative 1 and that's how you do it